Hello and welcome to episode 48 of the Niche to Profit Show here on the Vegas Video Network. I love it, a round number again. You know, I get to have one of those round numbers every other show. It's a beautiful thing. That's a that's an inside joke for those of you who know my OCD tendencies. <laughs> I don't like odd numbers. All right. Uh, today's show, we're going to give you the insider scoop on uh, buying at thrift stores. Uh, and uh, you are going to love this because uh, my guest... Uh, runs a local thrift shop here in Vegas, and she's got all kinds of juicy tidbits to share that you're not going to hear anywhere else. Uh, So we are going to do that in just a moment. I'll bring her on, and we're going to show you how to turn $3 into $175. Anybody down for that? Yeah, really. That's uh, coming up in our hot sale segment And, uh, of course, I cannot go without mentioning, I know it's all over social media. It's everywhere. I'm wearing the purple today in honor of Prince. Oh, my gosh. There he is. Um, Yeah, so, so shockingly sad. Um, I I suspect this guy ran himself into the ground uh, trying to make his fans happy. details coming soon somebody out on my timeline actually said uh this must be what it felt like when elvis died you know for another generation so uh prince an icon of those of us you were like 80s 80s 90s music people all right so this show it's all for prince there we go I was, I'm going to just wait for the whole chat to start chiming in. All right. We'll keep going. Hey, I am your host, Danny Ackerman, also known as the Danny App. That is because of my nearly two decades uh, selling on eBay and e-commerce, as well as my lifetime in the resale business. Uh, so what I do is I help online sellers who are struggling with slow sales and discouragement. And I help you turn yourself around from an online yard sale to a profitable e-commerce business. And we do that, a lot of that, right here on the show. I show you some real steps you can take to improve your listings and your sales. We look at some hot sales, you know, the sellers that got it right. And, of course, we have a little fun. We play a little game of pick it or pass it. That is where you can win some really cool prizes by simply guessing uh, after I show you something that it's in It's Natural Habitat, a thrift store, and uh, tell me what it is, and did I pick it or pass it? So we're having a lot of fun with that. We are live every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, and I have to say that now because uh, Arizona's all wonky with us again. used to be the same, but I have to throw that daylight time in there. And we are here at the VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. Uh, We have a live chat and I see I have uh, a few new names in the in the live chat this week. And welcome, welcome. Oh, who did I see in there? Merz, Merz Kelly, welcome. Thought you were here a, a little bit late because we, you know, replay the show before the show. Last week's show plays, so she thought she'd caught the very end. Uh, but no, you are right on time. So welcome. And and all my regulars in there, you know, Matt and Lisa and Sandra and Beth. Yay! So glad you guys made it today. Okay, you all shop at them, you treasure hunt, you look for those gems that you can buy low, sell high, and uh, that's, uh, we call ourselves thrifters, and uh, that's not because we save money, (laughs) that's because we shop in them. Uh, So my guest today, and I love saying this, she was voted, let me give my little thing, one of the top 100 women uh, by the readers of My Vegas Magazine, and uh, she's truly in here. I got my little bookmark here. She's in some really good company in here. And they also did a write-up of, you know, these bookmarks don't work so good, the thrift store that she uh, runs called Dinosaurs and Roses. And uh, really nice write-up. And I'm going to read this. She's going to let me keep this. This is my guest, Michelle Madison. Welcome. Thank and the crowd so goes much. wild. 
Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun before the show even started because you guys might notice the set is a little different today because she brought goodies that have been donated to treasures. the thrift store. Treasures. Treasures, yes. Treasures, goodies, love it. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that stuff today. But I, uh, I, I know that I'm not the only one with this question. And I must confess, I cheated and found the answer. But I'm sure my audience would love to know, how did you come up with the name Dinosaurs and Roses? Well, we take the dinosaurs that live in your closet, your attic, your garage, your cupboards, hidden underneath the mattress, sewn into a suit jacket, and we turn them into roses waiting to be picked by someone else. I love that. Isn't that cool, you guys? And it was a name that we felt that, you know, people would remember, you know, everybody says dinosaurs and roses, guns and roses, but then they, as soon as they see the dinosaur, they know it's us. And I love that. Nothing's extinct until we say it is. That's right, because... <laughs> And nothing really ever gets extinct because it usually flies out the door. <laughs> yeah, that, that's awesome. So there you go. That's dinosaurs and roses. Now you, um, and, and maybe it wasn't so recently, but in my brain it's recently, um, I went to your original location, which was on Sahara. Um, Actually, I'm going to correct you. That was on Charleston, Charleston. and Jones. That there was the original two-story building but we had the big downstairs and the art galleries upstairs. That I bought a lot of stuff there. And then I saw it close and yes. I didn't like keep tabs on things. And that one's like, I drove by the store on Tropicana. I'm like, they're still there. Yay. Here we are. Yes. <laughs> it took a while for us to find a good spot um, because we're a nonprofit. We have to really look for that reduced rent sure. and something that someone wants to give back to the community. So mm -hmm. we were able to secure a space on Trapa 95 and it's really easily accessible for yeah. everyone in Vegas. Yeah. I was there yesterday. Oh, good. I got to, to go in and peruse and I got... I got my one little treasure here I just had to bring to the show. I, I was going to do it for a pick it or pass it, but uh -huh. uh, no, I had to bring it. Um, and, and for those who can't quite see that, that would be um, two gentlemen uh, milking a cow. with a. F I mean, it's a really funky old picture, and yeah. I, I just love it. This isn't going anywhere. It's mine now. Oh, goody. <laughs> I love when you find a treasure that you can relate to and hold on to, and it means something for you. Yeah. And uh, there's something about going into the thrift store, and, and you know, my viewers know this, mm -hmm. is it's the hunt. It's the thrill of the hunt. Yes, it's, it is. You know, you can sniff out that stuff. <laughs> and, you know, there's so many things that would remind us of a childhood. Or, you know, for me, this is going to sound crazy, but you have to be a little nuts to be in this business anyway. I always like get a feeling like, oh my gosh, this must be from a past life or, you know, mm. or something that maybe I saw in my grandma's house or, you know, some feeling, especially when it's old and you pick up it and you get the vibe and you go, oh, this has a great vibe or this is a real yeah. scary vibe. No, totally. Yeah. I, I mean, that, you know, that whole, I love like the history of things. Absolutely. I, I collect glass. Uh -huh. And it's, glass is beautiful, but for me, it's like you take a hundred year old piece of glass and like this, somebody used this. Can you imagine using a glass table setting with with a family nowadays? Right. Chipped, you, gone. I know. Finished. Well, you should come to my secret stash and see what I have. Oh, and we're we're gonna talk I about know. that a little more. Secret. I like I like the word secret stash. I like that. So let's go back a little bit. So thrift stores for the most part are usually associated with a charity and you mm -hmm. run yours a little differently. You don't just have one charity that you represent. Right. So how does that work? So there are many different ways our charity works. First of all, in conjunction with the community, we have a, um, a coupon program on our website where you can go and pick one of our partnering charities, print out a coupon, come into our shop and then shop for that particular coupon. Charity. So if, let's say you're an animal lover, we have several, a Home for Spot, Animal Foundation, we have Cats Incorporated, we have several animals um, organizations. You come in, you, let's say you spend $100, you're going to know that $20 of that sale is going to go right to them. That's awesome. And we send our checks once a month, and we love when people come in with coupons because it lets us know the community is then saying and and telling us their feeling of mm -hmm. who, you know, who, what, they are, what they're passionate about. So say I have a charity that um, I'm really bonded to and, and you, they're not 
right now represented, um, will, you, will you add them? How Absolutely. Do you do All you have to do is contact us and say, we want to be one of your community partners and boom, no questions mm-hmm. asked, you're in. Then maybe you haven't. The lion habitat? They- no. I, oh. I, you know, I have been dying to get out there. Oh, you simply must. I, I have to because I have heard about that and I just, you know, you're so busy and you just never get the time. But I've got to go, and I'd yep. like to surprise my husband because he loves cats and lions and animals. And in fact, he went to safari uh, in Africa oh, and wow. without me, and um, and uh, was mesmerized by the lions. So oh, you'll love it. Yes, you'll Phil love it. Phil Devore, I'm going to take you to the lion habitat. I, I and and I mention them a lot because I happen to know that they're they're struggling a bit, mm-hmm. um, and we're getting a little off tangent but it has to do with that emotional feel of of, you know why people love to buy from charity um but you know they house the mgm lions here in vegas that they took down the Uh the lion habitat at the mgm and those lions needed a home these people stepped up and provided a sanctuary for those lions wow mgm says okay we'll we'll pay to support you for 20 lions for their lifetime well, you know how things go. It like the, it right. exploded, and now they've got like forty lions, but there's only ten of those original left that MGM is supporting. So they depend on. Well, you yeah. tell those people to contact me. We can. I'll, so let me go back to the original question. Sure. So we can have fundraisers for our charities, our partner charities, and we do have four stores now. So we have a thrift store. We have some boutique stores, which we'll talk about in the mm-hmm. show. And um, we can host fundraisers, wine and cheese, lemonade, cookies and milk, whatever it is. Uh, we invite everyone that has a cause and a love. We Just real quick story. We recently had a, a, a young girl who found a rescue that got hit by a car that was abandoned. And we made a little fundraiser for oh, her. Nice. She wasn't a charity. She wasn't. Um, anybody that anybody knew, but we raised enough money to help her little puppy get his operation. And that's, awesome. that's what we're all about. We like to touch the community one life at a time. And then for our own charity that we have, that we support, if you don't come in and shop for someone else, we have an outreach program where every Monday, if you are a person in need, you can come with a referral form and we will give you all the free things that you need. That's the essentials, awesome. clothes, shoes, backpacks for your children. Yeah. Um, and you can write in to us and tell us your story and we will put it on our giving committee. Uh, but we do have several organizations like Help of Southern Nevada, Nevada 211, uh, Jewish Family Services, Catholic Charities, the Problem Gambling Center, um, Mind and Body Solutions, East Valley you know, Care. A lot of these um, registered agencies that are there to support come to us and say please help our clients because there's nowhere in this town that you can walk in and say i'm in desperate need of a pair of jeans or we have clergy that call us that say people uh, would like a suit to go or a fancy dress to go to services to worship and we don't turn anybody away that's awesome i love and see and that's that's what i love too about not just you know shopping at thrift stores to find stuff for, for me or to sell it's that it really is going right to a, a better purpose so that's crazy uh cool and it kind of leads to my next uh, little series of questions and these came in from um, mostly the appsters we uh-huh. asked this had a little conversation before you came on now, that's one of the perks of being an appster is, is i ask you what questions we get to those first just saying um so they want to know how you get your stuff and i'm assuming you know people donate and Right. Well, we get our stuff in various ways. So first of all, there's the person who says, I'm purging, I'm driving to uh, other stores that shall not be named at this moment. And I say, no, 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 come to us and drop off. So um, so there's that's one way. If you have an entire household, we'll come pick up. Um, sometimes uh, people lose a loved one and they want to know that their items are going to be handled with dignity. And this is a person's life. You know, I personally go in when someone passes and I assess the situation and and get everything together. And you can feel the warmth and the love. And you walk in. I remember the first house I did was a gentleman. And all over his wall was pictures of him and his grandchildren Mm -hmm. and his wife. And you could just see that this is a person's life. This is not someone's junk, you know, that... Yeah. That that needs to be taken lightly. It needs to be cherished and respected and cared for in a proper way. 
so that it can continue to live on in someone else's life. Right. And um, so we get a lot of our estates. We get people that call and say, because we do support so many charities, you know, uh, we'd like a a piece of this to go here or we'd like, you know, we love what you're doing in the community, which, you know, thankfully, which is what I was recognized for, because we do help so many people that uh, Mm -hmm. are just down on their luck. Yeah. So Which, we're we're that's really a lot lucky. of people too. It is a lot, a lot of people. people. So we're really you. lucky. We and we get a lot of word of mouth and people that know that we respect the issue here is a respect. Yeah. So you obviously you get a lot of stuff right coming in. Mm-hmm. So how first like how do you sort all this stuff? What is your process? How does that work? Give it give them kind of like the little behind the scenes. Okay, so behind like, the scenes. Um, we also have a program that we work very closely with the juvenile justice department. And like, that's another one of my favorite things. I love to rehab with these kids that have, you know, really started going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm from these one old European households where, you know, you work, 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 work. I have an amazing work ethic and I love to teach the, the, the children on and, and the young adults what a work ethic is. So we put them back there and we start with, okay, now store all all the shirts together, all the pants together, all the dishes together. So that's the first process is we go in the back, we sort categorize. And then someone who um, has experience goes through it and says, wow, this is a Versace tie that got tossed into the, you know, not so good things. And then we do a second sorting and then it gets out on the floor and that's our sorting yeah. process. And then there are certain items that we feel need research, which is some of these goodies mm-hmm. that I brought today. And uh, that goes to our eBay division. And then uh, Jessica, who runs that, ch- uh, checks it out and, you know, does the eBay thing. And so, and so I'm sure like, uh, you know, my eBay sellers go, oh, great. You know, they're pulling all the good stuff out. And I, and we were talking about the show. I've been in the back of those thrift stores. No, you cannot get no. all the good stuff. And you, I mean, it's a time thing too. Yes. You're going to go with the obvious. Right. So, you know, obviously if it's a Chanel purse, it's not going to end up in the thrift store because someone is not going to pay. We just had a Chanel purse sell a reel with the certificate mm-hmm. and everything else on our eBay. Um, they're not going to, they're going to want to pay $20 for that. And, and unfortunately, you know, fortunately for us, we're running a charity here. We've got yeah. to get the most we can get. But there are so many things that are treasures that are in the store that when I go in there, um, because, you know, I'm busy at the corporate office, so I don't, I'm not there every day. I go there every so often. Mm-hmm. I go, oh, my gosh, you you put $2 on that? You know, oh, my goodness. It's like one of those type of situations. So there, you know, check back often. Every Wednesday we have hotels that give us the things that people leave behind. Oh, that's the best. Okay. So, and how fast does that get on the floor? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Thursday. Okay. Um, I'm there. So wait, I got a show. I got, Oh, (laughs) so yeah, that's, that's a good one. Cause sometimes we find a lot of X-rated things that we cannot put on. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You you know, we we won't go there. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So, you know, someone will go, Ooh, What's this? Throw it out. <laughs> uh, but we, recycle we, plastic. Exactly. <laughs> we, we so we do get some goodies there, and then um, but we do get some great things. You know, people shop at like um, the Crystals shopping mall and forget their packages. Yeah, and what are they going to do if they don't claim it? They don't call. They don't right. say it goes to us. It goes to that charity. Awesome. And you know how many like. Uh, Las Vegas mugs and things. Oh. People get T-shirts. We get some really cool things. You probably get a lot of phone chargers, too. Oh. <laughs> if you need a phone charger, come on down. Five of them might be mine. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we do get a lot of phone chargers and a lot of the obvious things. Yeah. But, you know, we got, this was the best. Last year, we got, like, an amazing lambskin jacket. And inside the pocket was f- money from, like, India. And I was like, oh, my God, it must be millions. It was like, you know, their money's like 10,000 of this <laughs> equals, you know, 50 cents. And we ended up with like 
95 dollars okay. translated you know but you know it was fun it was fun and it for a moment you thought like oh god this must be millions but yeah because it's a but so lot but, of cash. but and there are a lot of times that we don't get to check the pockets and people come to us and say you know i just bought that red coat and there was a hundred dollar bill inside and what do you want me to do with it and i only paid ten dollars for the jacket and then there are people that sometimes don't say that, which is fine too, because it's if it's in the jacket, it's yours. Yeah, you know, that's my yeah. theory. So yeah. I think it all, you know, it goes around, comes around, kind Absolutely. of a thing. Because I know, uh, and several of my viewers have have shared the story where they bought something, you know, incredibly inexpensive at a thrift store, and it sold for hundreds, and they went back to the thrift store and gave them more money. Right. You know, so there's the we got good eBay sellers. Exactly. They will do that. Um, pricing. How do you determine how you price do you have kind of like a standard for like items or, or what do you do well okay if you would have asked me that seven years ago i would have said we pull all the prices out of our butt but <laughs> um now after doing this for seven years you kind of have a general idea you've seen it all at this point well not at all but you've seen it all and um you know, so we, we do our best. We we have, uh, luckily, we have some staff that's been there for quite a while that have seen things come and go. Sometimes, you know, the community service people try to help and they put the wrong prices on. Whether it's too low, good for you. If it's too high, you just come up to the counter and say, hey, you know what? I don't really want to pay $10 for this. Will you take 5 Because I really believe it's worth 5 We say, sure. Yeah, and that's what, see, here's the big difference between, like, the big chains like Savers and Goodwill and right. Salvation Armory. They're not going to dicker no. prices with you. The little independents like right. yours, ask. What do you, I mean, what do you have to, even if they don't, you have a sign posted in your yes, store. Yes, we do. We do have a sign that say, we'll accept any reasonable offer yeah. or please, everything's negotiable. Because when you find that item that you love, that sings to you and speaks to you. We want you to take it home. We're not, yeah. we don't have a museum. We, you know, we would get it out of here so we can put something else out. Right. That's such a good attitude. You know, I, I was at the antique mall who I won't name the name of it, but so many of those dealers were there for show and tell instead right. of to sell. Exactly. You know, you know it, 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 it amazes me when I, I, when I travel all over the world, the first thing I do, I say to my husband, come on, let's go to the thrift store. He's like, oh no, not that, you know, but I love, honey, I know you're watching. See, it's not just me. Okay. <laughs> I had to get that out. <laughs> you know, it's funny. And, and I, I say, come on, I got to see, I got to see. I, the best was when we went to Stillwater, Minnesota. And that's like a place where if anybody is from there, they have a great, thrift shops there mm -hmm. and um i go and then i take pictures of how things are laid out and how it looks and you know w w and i went and i'm like okay you know what i want to pay eight dollars for this they're like no right it's no. like good then hold on to it for another year otherwise i'll take it back to vegas with me yeah. um recently i've been through a lot of uh thrift stores in portland oregon i have a son that lives there so when I go there, I was bringing an extra suitcase and I go, they have great garage sales there too. Mm. And a lot of the stuff, believe it or not, that comes from the stores, I personally, I'm sorry, I'm such a junkie. I'm sorry I go and I go to these thrift stores when I travel all over the world and I have brought things back. Um, I went to Hawaii and I know someone in this industry that loves tiki mugs. Mm -hmm. And I went and I bought a whole slew of them and put them in the store and let him know, come get your tiki mugs. Yeah. So you know your customers. I know my customers, yeah, yes. Yeah, you know your customers. So I'm like, I'm watching the time going, oh my gosh, we have more questions. Um, I want to be sure and get to some of these um, because people want to know. So you you determine your pricing, you put it out there. Now this this thing has sat there, and we you talk a little bit like you're there to sell. What happens when it doesn't sell? How often do you like kind of revamp and pull? And well, if it's not selling, usually we'll pack it up and put it in the back and take it out next year because oh. next year the buyer will come back and say, "Oh, last year you had this," and I mean, and if it's something that is like really odd. Um, that, you know, we may just leave it there for, you know, I mean, I have some things I swear from day one, day one that we, we've we opened up. And you've got the room to do that. So yeah. it's not, and because and, I always tell them don't hold on to stuff, but they're paying for the stuff. You're not paying. It's no. not costing you anything to right, store Right, it. but it's taking up real estate. So we do, and, and I'll tell you the other secret. If you move things around, people 
maybe oh, might, yeah. you know, it's like sort of seeing the forest for the trees. You need to get in there and see the trees for the forest. Mm-hmm. So if you move things around, chances are things will sell. But, you know, if it's really, especially like with clothes, we end up donating so much of it, it doesn't stick around too long if it doesn't sell. Right. That Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good thing. And then that's how we also repurpose and recycle and save the planet by giving it away yeah. to someone else. So here's the big question. Go ahead. That's what they are all, you know, I saved it like, you know, toward the end here. Keep you on your end of your seats. Okay. What do you think of these resellers, these eBay and... And Amazon sellers who come in there to find stuff that you've okay. underpriced. Can you see me? I welcome you with open arms. Call me for a private shopping trip. Um, <laughs> you got that? Come to Vegas and get come a private to Vegas, shopping trip. Get a private shopping trip with me if you're only here after hours. You know, we're a charity, number one. We have programs and people that are in need. I love resellers because they know their business. They know their stuff. They know what they want. They know what's going to sell in there. Maybe you have someone that only collects antiques or clothes or, you know, I mean, I have a secret stash of antiques if anybody is interested in those antiques. No, you can't have them. They're mine. Uh, oh, okay. No, I'm just no. So, um, but you know, if you come in or you contact me first and say, Hey, you know what, Michelle, I'm looking for this, this, or this, do you have it? Or when you get it, save it for me. You know, I'm all about that. I am all about it. And resellers, we love you. Come on in. I welcome you. I and and we'll give you special pricing, knowing that you have to resell it. You got to live and make a buck too. So come on down. See, I'm sure they're so happy to hear that. And even like you know, a lot of them are not here in Vegas, but I want them to know that there's more thrift store operators out there like you. You're not just a one of a kind. That that this is about this giving and charity and turning the stuff and making money for many, many. Go find your independent thrift stores because it's harder for you guys probably to to get built up and oh, get the stuff. You can't imagine. It, it, you know, the big boys have the big names. Yeah. And um, of course we have the one location on Tropa 95 and then we have another one that's just opening on Commerce and Craig for the people that are in the northwest side of town. But the people that come to visit or the people that are looking for that specific thing write into me call me tell me i'll save it for you you can shop over the phone with me we'll ship it to you go on our ebay store it's there that's right and we're like we probably don't have time to really get heavily into it but you do sell some things on ebay yes we do yeah which makes sense makes sense it all goes for the charity so whatever's for the greater good we're all about it yeah, and I was noticing, because I did pull up your listings, and I was noticing you don't have your own store there for Giving Works so that it can just go back with, yeah. I don't know what Giving Works is. Oh, yeah, see, we're going to talk. Actually, I think they've changed the, the name. I think it's now eBay Charity or eBay Giving something. I don't know, maybe somebody, somebody knows it, but, but I'll, get, I'll get you all the scoop on okay. that. Okay, I'll hook it up yeah. right away. Special perks, because then not only your own store, you can use that on, uh, but if others want to support you, no matter where they are, they can choose your charity to give a percentage of their sales to. That sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm there. Sign me up. It's a, it's a, it's a really cool thing. Mm-hmm. And what we were talking about when we first began, people love the emotional feeling of giving and being able to contribute and do that. So um, people buy more often, I, not more often, what's the word I'm looking for? They're more likely to buy from that store that is offering a percentage to charity. Yeah, so it actually, it helps your sales. You want to feel good about it. Oh, I forgot we have pictures. Oh, great. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's my beautiful store. It is. Um, but you see here, you can get purchases you can feel really good about. Mm-hmm. And you have yeah. furniture we have and furniture art. furniture and art um, and knickknacks and... Um, just like amazing things. Electronics like, and books. And books. For those people that love books, oh boy. We books. Lots of books. And shoes. <laughs> yeah. We And I'll tell you what, we, we had a couple pairs of Gucci shoes sneak through for $5. I noticed it that. Happens. It happens. It well, happens. That's why you got to get out there and see what you got. That's right. So you know what I'm thinking? What? I am thinking. So I have an event coming up July 30th. It's called the More Fun, Bigger Profits. Okay. So the second day I take a, a special group of people out to do something fun, I'm thinking maybe we come shop your secret stash. I think that's a great idea. I think and we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. And we can find some things to hide as gifts in the pockets of things so people oh. 
Ooh. Yeah, we can make this really fun. Incentives. So I people like need that. to sign up for that. I like that. So um, you say that you are on eBay, and, and I had seen that, and I wanted to offer a gift to you, and that is I want Dinosaur and Roses to become an Appster member. Okay. So uh, we will give you full access to the Niche to Profit Academy to help out on your eBay side of things. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. You got it. And uh, you're going to stick around. And I'm going to be here. For the whole show. Yeah, and I'm going to be, and be my Vanna toward I'm gonna the be end. I'm going to be your co-host, your I Robin, your it. sidekick, just so anything I can do. We're going to take a quick break and come back and uh, help some sellers get their stuff sold. Awesome. At Neon Brand, we take care of all your online marketing. We build websites perform search engine optimization, run social media campaigns, and produce high quality photos and videos. We look at it like we're a one-stop shop for all your online marketing needs. We pride ourselves on quality work. Every website we build gets the utmost attention to detail and uses the latest in code and technology in order to ensure that your site stays relevant for the long term. Social media takes constant monitoring and engagement, and we have just the team to handle it for you. A killer video or photo shoot will take your product or service to a whole nother level. Don't believe me? Three words. Dollar Shave Club. Google it. If you're looking to get more customers through the internet, give us a call. We'll set up a free consultation and review your business needs and then decide on a plan that will help you accomplish your online marketing goals. I'm Kenny, this is Neon Brand, and we're here to help you succeed online. Arg, it's my pirate music there. All right. It's, it's kind of an arg when that stuff just won't sell and you think it should sell. So we're going to we're going to cover a couple of those today. So let's see. We have this. Uh, this is from Nancy. Nancy, are you in the chat? I haven't looked to see. I don't see Nancy. All right. So we're going to cover uh, this is from Nancy Modab, who is my e bazaar. And this is an Oakley bikini top, bottom size S, striped pink blast, swimwear swimsuit. <sighs> That's a lot in that title. So I have to tell you, when I first looked at the title, I hadn't looked at the picture yet. I first looked at the title and I thought it was just the top because it says Oakley bikini top. And I suspect this is coming up a, a lot for people who are just looking for a top and then that's not what they want. So they move on. Um, so you're probably getting impressions that are counting against you because the wrong people are seeing it. So I would, I would really tighten up this title to Oakley swimwear bikini size, small swimsuit. And I would divide the words swim and suit just to make it a little different so that it's just uh, um, shortened up more specific to somebody who is looking for that. Now, I would I would bring your price down under the $30 mark. I'd make actually make I don't say that too often. I don't say drop a price too often, but in this case from from what I saw, these are not selling for top dollar like they used to anymore. So, I'd go 29.95. 29.95. Pictures are good. The only other thing I noted and 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 maybe Michelle you can back me up on this one. Um the top looks okay, but I don't, I could be a little faded. The legs, the legs on this mannequin and I, and it, yeah, it makes it look a little wonky. Let's just say that. And I noticed that you sell a lot of swimwear. So it might be time to get a mannequin that really shows off that swimwear. If that's going to be your niche, you want to make it look as good as possible because I'm telling you, people look at the clothing and try to imagine it on themselves by the pictures and so even though it's on a mannequin don't use common sense here because come on we know people don't have common sense when they shop <laughs> but they're gonna go oh that looks funny that's gonna look funny on me so it's like a psychology thing so i would just if you're gonna do bathing suits find it find it i don't know there's some there's just something off with that Poor top's fine. The bottom, yeah, not so much. My favorite mannequin place is Store Supply Warehouse. Ooh, they 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 have great mannequins there and good prices too. And they're online and it ships right to your door the next day. So oh, nice. So for the bikini lady, 
Go take a peek at the, that. For clothing, the, yeah. the mannequin is so important. It is. It is. We have um, Beth specializes in plus size clothing. Mm-hmm. But she got a skinny mannequin. Yeah. So as I just gave her that tip last week. It's like time to get a plus size mannequin. Put some pillows in there too. Or some a little chubby. There we go. <laughs> some pillows. Yeah. Um, but yeah, people really want to get an idea of what it's going to look like right. on them. So good point. Let's do one more. Let's see here. This, um, Gail, so cute. Um, she put this out on the uh, the Niche to Profit Facebook group and got some advice. Did not wait for mine. Um, so she had this. Let me just tell you, she had this before with Lily Pulitzer, Zero, Bustier, Halter Top, Juice Bar, Tropical Print. She ended that listing and then uh, relisted it this way as Bustier, Halter, Top, Lily Pulitzer, XS, Juice Bar, Tropical. T- mm, I'm going to have you tighten up that title a little bit more. Lily Pulitzer is a really important part to put at the very beginning. That is a sought after brand. And when people are searching that, they're putting that first. Uh, so the other thing that I found, Juice Bar is actually... Some people put juice bar in for the search if they're looking for this. So mm-hmm. I would call this Lily Pulitzer Juice Bar Bustier Halter Top Size Zero because you're going to get the people looking. They don't know if they want a top or a bottom or mm-hmm. a what, but they know they want that juice bar print. Yeah, and the name too, and So they, Yeah, they want Lily Pulitzer mm-hmm. Juice Bar. They put that in. Yours is going to come up. Then they see, oh, it's a... Uh, bustier halter top i like that take out the tropical print the citrus palm trees Eh. the person who would put that in doesn't know that they want the lily pulitzer juice bar and they're not going to pay as much they may not want the palm trees but then when they see it go i gotta have it yeah and so um the other thing there's only three pictures here i would add uh another picture just straight on front Mm Because there's just that little angled picture. So you want one that's kind of, right. Do they zoom? I'm not. They're not zooming. Oh, you want, this one's zooming. Why isn't this one zooming? This one doesn't want to zoom unless it's just an eBay thing. But yeah, make sure those pictures are big enough to zoom, zoom, zoom. I mean, I'd add two pictures. I would add the straight on front view and I would also do a close up of the print close up of the print just so people can see Mm -hmm. what's in the fabric so oh and i would put the price well i'm going to give two pieces of advice on this so either do 39.95 and add best offer or bring it down to 29.95 without 30 dollars and 95 cents is psychologically that is way more than 29.95 when it's it's only a dollar but I mean, this is a retail mm-hmm. strategy, you know. I know it. Yeah, you get get it twenty nine ninety five. People see twenty, right? They don't see thirty. Mm-hmm. So, um, just a little little price tip there. But I think most important is those the, the keywords in the title. Go back to your Lily Pulitzer Juice Bar, um, and it also is a size zero. I would not play with putting extra small in the title. Here it is right here. It is a size zero. Uh, your size zero person is going to be shopping for size zero. That's correct. They are. So there's uh, there's my little tip. So how about we, uh, how about we look at a couple sellers who got it right? Oh, he's not going to do my little bow chicka wow wow. He normally does that, yes. Yeah, see, he's just forgetting to push the buttons today. It's okay. There we go. Yeah. Now it's all better. He makes fun of my like <laughs> '80s music. I keep telling him, I'm I'm scoping out where I'm going to hang the disco, the disco ball. ball. It's it's coming. Let me know. We'll have the party. Awesome. He says no. I say, uh huh. It's coming. Watch me. All right, our uh, this is so cool because I love when this happens. Some of you have watched the show for a while may recognize these little characters here. This was in our Why Won't They Buy segment a couple months well, ago. Somebody out there's got to have that. Yeah, oh, for sure. And they did. This is John F. Kennedy, JFK, and Jackie Dolls. And she had them priced at fifty nine forty nine. 
paid 10 bucks. Paid 10 bucks for them. They sold $59.49. There you go. Awesome. Yeah. Political stuff. I don't know. For some reason, people are buying political stuff right uh-huh. now. <laughs> Just saying. All right. Next. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the show. This is how you turn $3 into uh, $175. Um, now, this is in Canadian money. You know what? I can I can fix that right here. You guys know how to fix that? If you ever pull up a .ca listing, you can just go. Now, watch it not work. Live. Uh, this, sh- this should work. Okay. This is a Persian enamel on copper bowl signed Riposse Islamic Antique 1900. Donna finds the coolest stuff. She's up in Canada. Hey, hey, we got slow internet around here. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in trouble. Um okay, so Persian enamel on copper bowl. Uh she paid like what did she say? It was like $2.30 Canadian, which is a, you know, 3-ish. Mm-hmm. Two ninety nine ninety nine. Beautiful pictures, beautiful pictures. Um, oh, and and here's the cool thing. She says the uh, same lady bought five things totaling three hundred and thirty seven dollars. Don't you love that? Yeah, all of them. All of them cost her together thirty two dollars and thirty cents Canadian. So what is that like? You know. 50 60 bucks right. i'm not doing math here on the show i'm just not doing math uh so some of you are asking how i changed that from the canadian to the u.s dollar up in the url let's see if i can no i can't lower the url down um so up in your url uh when it's a canadian listing it'll say ebay.ca and to see it in the u.s dollars you just change it to dot com instead of dot ca yeah easy peasy all right so um excellent excellent job i i think donna gets a lot of her stuff at local auctions and she mm-hmm. gets she has a good eye she's a really good eye and she's niched in this really beautiful cool center pc kind of stuff well it's like when i go to a thrift sh- uh, uh, when i go to an estate sale or i go to a yard sale there's something i brought in that is a, a steal that I don't know if you want to spend a minute showing it. Which is this one? No, no, no. Oh. Uh, that little music thing that played music. That little. Where did he go? Where did, Where did it go? go? Oh, I've got it. I've got it artfully positioned oh, against okay. the wall. Oh, there it is. If you want yeah. to just pull it real quick, I'm going to tell you a quick story about that so that people can, you know, look when they find something. That is made in oh. Italy. Okay. I bought that for two dollars, and we researched it, and it's worth about four hundred. Yes, oh, I'll be more careful with it now. <laughs> I'm just tossing it around here now. Um, yeah, it and is, it's a music box. You it's see beautiful. What it does you just pull yeah, the string you at pull the bottom? The string, and, and it plays and music. Yeah, it's a. It, I don't know if you say it, Rouge, Rouge. Really good name. Yes, really good name. So, yeah, yeah love it. Love it, folks. It'll start playing music. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh so um yeah i'm looking like yeah we so have to get together like you got cool stuff we we're gonna have some fun and you like thrifting but we have to uh let these people play a little picket or pass it but first we're gonna do a quick commercial meet lucy Lucy's an eBay seller, and she needs to sell more stuff. But Lucy has a problem. She's frustrated with slow sales and confusing changes eBay keeps making. So Lucy searches online for a solution, how to make more money on eBay. And she discovers the Niche to Profit Academy. Real-time help for struggling eBay sellers. Step-by-step, easy-to-follow solutions. Help when you need it so you can focus on selling more stuff. Problem solved. Now Lucy can list with confidence and make more money. 
simply come join at nichetoprofitacademy.com and start increasing your sales and feeling less confused. nichetoprofitacademy.com. Use the code SHOW30 for a free 30-day trial. There, that little modern jazzy piano there. Oh, does that make you feel better over there? Just saying. <laughs> I have to tell you a really quick funny story. <laughs> um, so my son watched the show all the way through last week from my mom's house. And um, the kids have their own bathroom. And I don't go in there very often. We just don't. Uh, but I happen to go in there. And, and in the mirror he had written, here's Lucy. She was here. <laughs> I just cracked up. It's like the boy was paying attention. <laughs> That's good. Gotta love him. He's, 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 he's almost 11. Two more weeks. He's 11. But oh, still nice. 10. Um, so here's where we have a little fun. I'm going to let you be my Vanna. Oh, yay. So you get to show them what okay. they're going to win. Uh, so, Vanna, tell us what they can win. Well... We- Yes. You can win this fantastic tote bag. Feels like 100% cotton with a magnificent multicolored logo and great to put the bargains, great to put the bargains that you're going to pick up at the Dinosaurs and Roses thrift shop. Oh, she's or, good. Or um, in any of the other fabulous places to get some treasures. Yes, so let's yes. see who's going to win that. All right. Or we can get the... Or uh, you can get this fantastic, beautiful ceramic mug with they, a cash they cow in it. They don't get my cash cow. Oh, they don't they get don't, the cash no, cow. No, you okay. got to get your own cash get cow. Get your own cash yeah. cow. But anyway, this will wake you up in the morning so that you can get up really early to go to all those fabulous yard sales that are in your neighborhood. Get you up early, look online, look at the newspaper, Craigslist, so forth and so on. You can drink from the cup, remind yourself... This is the day you are going to find that treasure. You're and again, good. a beautiful multicolored cup, probably very dishwasher safe. So yeah. you're good to go. We have some of these out in the wild. Do you? Yeah. Oh, there's Matt at his workstation there. Uh-huh. Previous winner. There's Marie. She's a She's been a triple winner, by the really? way. Really? She's won all. Th- I'm going to have to come up with a new prize for her. Oh, boy. There's Mike Q with his tote bag and his Vegas Video Network visor. Ah, uh, you know, maybe uh, I could uh, I could get some of those off of Scott if you really wanted one of those. But I, I'm sure they want the coveted business review, though. I've had those coming in like crazy. Mm-hmm. And that is where I personally go through 25 points in your business everywhere. Social media, your brand, your logos, mm-hmm. your listings, everything, and give you real actionable steps. To wow. improve your business. So that is that is a prize I added a few weeks ago. Can I win that? Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you play next week and get your entry, okay. of course you can. <laughs> um, so that's the cool thing is there's two ways to win. Okay. You can guess, did I pick it? Did I pass it? And if you're right, that's one entry. And if you don't even want to guess that, if you just want to tell me what the thing is, because you know what it is, that's another entry. So what, we had several entries this week. So um, let's see here. Get my little handy dandy covered wagon. Oh, and and uh, last week, by the way, was these Nimaji pottery vases, pots, and most of you got it right. A couple people did say I picked it, but I didn't because oh, I was going to guess pass too. Yes, there are some that are worth some money. I'll show you. I did a I did a quick sold search. What you got to look for is Big, fancy colors, like this one, multiple, multiple colors. But even then, they're simply not going for big. That's 10 and a half, half inches tall, and it's sold for under $52. It costs a fortune to ship, too. Exactly. So if you can offer free shipping or... Yeah. So I do. I pass on these. Mm-hmm. I pass. Yeah, here's one, forty nine ninety five, free shipping. So not making a lot of money there. Mm-hmm. Not making a lot of money. So we have uh, Carol Hearn. Thought I'd answer the picker pass from episode 47, but I don't see that I sent an email. 
Uh, these are Namaji pots or vases. Large, colorful ones can be worth buying, but I imagine you passed on these. I did. I did. And we got your entry this time. So she's got two entries. Keith Bowman, Namaji Pottery, passed it. Good job. I love when the guys play and get it right. I'm telling you. It's awesome. Uh, John Reese, Namaji Pottery. Now, John guessed that I picked it because he said, my wife has continued success in selling Namaji Pottery at our mall booths. She's done a lot of research on it, and we actually found a book written on Namaji the best part of the book is the various marks used with date ranges. And and I can imagine if, and that makes sense, in sure. person, no shipping, Right, these would do well. Yeah. And they're probably very fragile and delicate, so the bubble wrap and it's going to be yep. huge that you're going to need to stuff that with. Mary Van Arenas, I believe Danny passed, as they appear to be a common color and size shape, especially at five bucks each. I did, Mary. Good job. Linda, without a last name. So if you win, Linda, you're, I hope you uh, will send me your last name as well. Uh, Namaji Pottery, for this particular piece, I think you passed. Some bring good money, but are larger and much more colorful. Yep. There are some really beautiful ones. Those are the ones that, that you know, it's a rarity thing. The harder mm -hmm. it is to find, the more it's going to be worth. Right. Uh, Katerina, Namaji Indian River Pottery Vase Southwestern Art. Danny passed. You guys are getting it. You know, it's great when you're, it is, it's great when your audience knows you. Yep, yep. Mostly, mostly appsters. Yeah. yeah. They, they've learned. Mm -hmm. uh, Melanie Campbell, I see there are several names attached to similar vases bowls on eBay. I found Nilawak, Little Oya, and Desert Sands. Most are not selling very much. The ones that are selling for good prices are Nilawak, but are much more colorful than this one. I would pass on it. Because I don't think there would be enough interest in it. It's too plain looking, so not a good investment. Unfortunately, the word I needed was namaji, but you said I passed it, so you still get into the drawing. Marie Rivers, last three entries have not made it on the show. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to look into that. But you know what I'm going to do for you, Marie? Since you guessed it's namaji pottery, I think you passed. I'm going to put you in one, two, and we're going to give you one since we missed the last two weeks. How's that? So nice to be fair to people. Yeah, we got to be fair. Rosvita Burroughs, Namaji Pottery from Minnesota. And I think you passed. They typically don't sell for much. I'm going to be in Minnesota at the uh, Midwest Ecom Conference on, uh, I think that is around the 23rd. I got to check my calendar. Whatever that weekend is there, I'll be there. So if you are in the Midwest, uh, get to that conference. Make sure you go to the thrift stores there. Oh, Absolutely. Clean those puppies out. Absolutely. Oops. That was Linda's second one. I forgot to get in there. Uh, Donna Jones. It is Namaji Pottery. Sells for around $69 to $100. So I say you picked it. It does not sell for $69 to $100. Um, there are uh, some anomalies that go up there. But for the most part, on average, no. But you knew what it was. So you're in the drawing. And Janice Wenning, Namaji Pottery, must have the back stamp to be worth it. Indian profile with Namaji Pottery around it. Good mm. to know. Seems the going rate for smaller vessels is $30 or less, including shipping. These are not particularly interesting shapes or colors, if not large. I'd say you passed. You are spot on. And thank you for giving us that information on the mark. All right. We're going to shake these up. Okay, that's just a bookmark. It's not an entry. I had to make sure there. Don't want to leave anybody out. All right. Would you be so kind as to pick our winner? I would love to. Okay, here comes the winner. Here's that looks the like winner. a good one. And it is Janice Winning. Janice. First time winner. So you know the drill if you've been watching. Just send me your a prize choice to niche to profit at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Niche to profit at VegasVideoNetwork.com. All right. Now for this week's item. This one should be pretty easy. Come on, guys. Here's the clues. She is Peter Pan's sidekick. Although it is filled with water, you don't want to call it that when listing. That's a big clue, you guys, because if you send me the water one, it's not going to count. It was five bucks. 
Did I pick it or pass it? Now, I'm going to give a little caveat uh, just to so you don't make your decision based on this. Uh, most of you know in my Utterly Good Stuff ID, I sell high-end antiques, collectibles, glass, and this definitely would not fit. I would not list this there, but keep in mind, I have five eBay stores. So I, that I'm just saying. All right. So there's your clues. Send your answers to niche to profit at vegasvideonetwork.com. Niche to profit at vegasvideonetwork.com. Get those in. Remember, tell me what it is. Uh, there's a, two really important words there that I'm looking for. And did I pick it or did I pass it? And then uh, you will have your chance to win the groovy prizes. So we have just a couple minutes left. Um, I want to, again, invite everyone over to the Niche to Profit Academy. Now more than ever is the time to get in there uh, because there's some really special stuff happening, uh, especially if you live in the Las Vegas area. Uh, that being an appster right now is going to be very, very profitable for you. Okay, so you want to get in there. We just did our webinar. We do a webinar every month. We just went through all of the eBay seller changes yesterday, piece by piece by piece. Uh, and that is something I do for you guys. If you don't have to go and be uh, worried, upset, frantic, all of those words, uh, and trying to figure out what something means for your business, I go through, I get you the answers. If I don't have the answers, I have my contacts at eBay. I can get those answers for you. And we make sure that you can just keep running your business and not be worrying about all this stuff you hear out on Facebook. We do not do, we do, hey, I'm the myth busters of eBay. That's it. I am your myth buster, okay? I will test it. I will find the answers for you, all that good stuff. So we got that. Oh, yes. And you guys still don't believe me and you need to just check it out, you know, for a month. Come on in. Use the code SHOW30. You go to nichetoprofitacademy.com. Use the code SHOW30. I'll give you a month for free. Check it out. All right. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Oh, we're going to take it out with some prints. Thank you so much for being with Thank us today. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, we're going to have to have you back. This was totally fun. Anytime. I would love to be your co-host anytime you need one. You got it. Okay, girl. All right. And if you've missed one of the shows along the way, because we, we've got like 48 of them now. Ooh, that was good timing. You can go back to places like iTunes, Stitcher, Chromecast, Apple TV, Google TV, Roku, Oh, gosh, YouTube, both on the Danny App channel and the Vegas Video Network channel. Oh, and yeah, we're all over Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. So no excuses for missing any of those shows. Now, with that, everyone, thank you again for being on. Thank you for having me. Go be profitable and make it fun. Go crazy. Let's get crazy.